Hi, this is Thomas Reed, and I just wanted to give a brief tutorial on how to use my website. One of the first things you're going to do is when you do sign into my website is you're going to create an account. Put your first name, last name, email address, choose your own password, your cell phone number, and just let me know if that's a cell, home, or work number. After you've created your account, you'll come back to the login. Your login name will be your email address and the password that you choose. If you do forget your password, not a big deal. Uh, click the Forgot Password button and we will email you directions on how to retrieve your password. So you click the Login button and it will log you in. And once you're logged in, then you can begin your search. Right here, start searching. Right now we have 2,247 listings in the Greater Binghamton Area MLS. And this screen here will break down your search criteria. It will break it down into the county. Uh, you'll notice once you click the county, it will populate the different cities within that county. You can search by specific multiple listing numbers, if you have that. And you can break this down into your purchase price criteria. We're going to break it down for this. We'll do 80 to 100 uh, bedrooms. Full baths, half baths, stays on the market, acreage, square footage, and you can even break it down into zip code and street number, street name. If school districts are important to you, you can break it down into different school districts, elementary schools, waterfront property, or the style of the home. So you'll notice based upon the price we have here in Broome County and in the city of Binghamton, we are down to 56 properties. That's the other nice thing. It will tell you how many properties it finds based upon your criteria. So once you've done that, you hit Search Properties. It'll bring up the next screen. It'll bring up a Google Map showing you where those properties are, and you can always zoom into those properties. These buttons here that have a number inside them, those are letting you know how many properties are in there that are for sale. So if you click that, it'll just open it up a little bit more for you. As you scroll down, you'll see the different properties that now meet your search criteria. So we'll pick one and we'll open it up. We'll pick this one here on River Road. And you'll notice it'll give you all the information on this specific property. Interior features, exterior features, property features, the school, the utilities. It'll pinpoint it on a map to show you where it is. If you wanted to save this to show to somebody, on your own, as you're on the screen, you can hit Add to Favorites, and that will save it as one of your favorites. And then you can just hit the Favorites tab, and it'll be right there for you. The other nice thing you could do about this, we'll go back to the uh, searching criteria. Oh, we're back on the search criteria here. Right here where it says Send Me New Listings by Email. If you click Send Me New Listings by Email, you will get the you will get an email every morning based upon the search criteria that you put in. And if you look here on the listing alerts, it'll break down what you're saved. And you can remove what you don't want anymore. So we can remove this one. You want to remove that, okay. Every morning at 9 o'clock, you're going to get a, an email with all the new listings that match your search criteria and you can have property notes. This is another nice feature that we have here. If you're on the website, if you're on a specific property and you wanted to add some notes. So this property today with Tommy. I love it. And add note. Now you've added a note to this so you can go back and see it. And that's about it. And uh, just wanted to wish you a lot of luck in your home search. And as always, if you ever have any questions, feel free to give me a call. My number is right up here, 607-699-1013. Or if you're more comfortable to send me a text, you could do that too. Thank you very much, and I'll talk to you soon.